This is a story we have been continuously tracking since day one, when over 300 schoolboys were abducted. The children have now been released and reunited with their families. As Nigeria celebrates the return of these schoolboys, the story is far from over. There is a long list of issues that needs to be addressed. Let's first talk about the week-long ordeal that these children had to go through. The date was the 11th of December. More than 300 schoolboys were kidnapped in a raid carried out by the Boko Haram in northwestern Nigeria. These kidnappings sparked a nationwide campaign and the government faced immense pressure to ensure the safe return of the boys. A week later, the boys were released, distraught, most of them barefoot, some still wearing their school uniforms. These boys were brought to the governor's office in Katsina after the week-long nightmare. These children have returned with baggage of horror and trauma. While in the bush, I was thinking about my parents, my siblings, my friends, and the way we used to play and pray together back home. The boys were made to walk several miles without shoes, food or water. Numb with pain, the Nigerian boys are now afraid to return to school. When they took us, they said Western education is not important. And they said the soldiers are like women. Fear gripped me when they said if they see us in school again, that they will kill us. The reason why I will not go back to school is because I am thinking, if I go back, the bandits will kill me, and then I'll not see my parents again. The Nigerian government says that not a single shot was fired. They are maintaining absolute secrecy on the terms of the release. Nigerian President Mohamed Buhari visited the village of Kankara to meet the school children and gave them this piece of advice. Listen in. My oath of office is to protect the Nigerian constitution and on the 5th of May 2023, I'll retire and come back home. That is why I have come home to see my farm and my investment of cattle because I know I'll retire on the farm. Why I'm telling you this is because this little difficulty you have faced in life should not deter you. You should gear up and pursue your dreams in life. You heard that right. After a week of forcefully marching through the forest, lying on dirt, going through all that torture and trauma, the president of Nigeria is advising these school children to not be deterred by what he calls this little difficulty. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.